All right, I'm making this video here because um, I got a question about the German sh Shepherd Loki, the one that was super uh, re reactive to humans and dogs, and he actually bit too and everything. But um, and then I showed video um, of me w walking him around crowds and stuff like that. And the question was, I had I, I had a ball there, and sometimes the dog had 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 the ball and everything. And the question was. Um, would would the dog not react to the hu humans if he was not in prey drive and if he didn't have have the ball or a promise of of the ball um and i'm going to show you guys video now i went back with no ball so i'll show you exactly how that all worked out um and I'm going to talk about the ball, and I'm going to talk about why the ball was important, and I'll, I'll talk about the question that should have been asked, not not the question that was asked, but the question that should should have been asked. Um, I'm going to talk about di differential reinforcement, and if you've tried differential re reinforcement before, especially with a ser serious dog like like my pit bulls they're they're extremely aggressive the dogs and that's and that's genetic man you know um differential reinforcement the way everyone does it fails with those with those kinds of dogs um the way ivan balabanov does it it 100 percent works he does it a a different way and there's something that he adds to it um, and it absolutely works, and this is how I've gotten control over really crazy dogs. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now, Loki. We're gonna go walking. We're gonna walk around, and I walk quite a bit again. I I, I like proof. I don't like this um, 10 seconds, five seconds clips of you know you caught you caught the dog doing something great and this is not, that's not proof man let's really see this so you could watch the video the, la the last time and it's it's pretty long you can see this one now I'm gonna go back without the ball but I'm gonna I'm gonna explain some stuff I start to talk about three three minutes in here so the beginning we're walking by some pe pe people and stuff but then there's gonna be more people but but I start to talk at about three three minutes in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain some stuff. I'm gonna explain some stuff about about the ball, differential reinforcement, um, and really the question that should have been asked. Not not you know, kind of like a ch challenging thing. Like you know, like the reason why this dog didn't react was because he's in prey drive and because of that ball. That I I I know what that question was. Um, like I really didn't do anything and you're gonna see I, I actually did so um, here it is um, the dog once again this dog it, it, he's he's got a new picture this is new he needs to do this and he needs to habituate this so so and oh one last thing almost forgot some people also said that you always show a dog what to do and you don't you don't show them what not to do you know like like you don't stop them from do, doing things and and you always do it in a way so that you show them what to to do that's not the way i approach it at all um i show them what to to do but it is extremely important that you're clear to a dog what they are not supposed to do. So, so there was a absolutely times with this dog that I told him, no, you, you cannot act that way. Now, here's the way you can act. But I was absolutely clear. It's, you, you know, error-free lear learning stuff where, where you're just going to show this dog an alternative behavior and he's going to take it and he's not going to react will get you into a lot of pro problems with this with this kind of dog. Even if it starts to go right sometimes, um, when the dog doesn't know what it's not supposed to do, it can still choose it. It's always there. 
So so that that's a big big thing too. So people pe- people saw my last my last one video and they and they think that's what I did. That's not what I did. Cool, isn't he? Is he friendly? Not really. <laughs> Gorgeous. Is he a Malinois? Huh? Is he a Malinois? He's a, sh- a shepherd, ger- German shepherd. Oh, he is beautiful. He's a cool dog, yeah. Oh, you are so handsome, man. Pretty boy. Come here. Come on. Do you need water for him? He's okay right now. We're, we're just going to walk, yeah. Come on. Thank you. You're such a good boy, Baba. Come here. Come here. You're such a good boy, Baba. Come here. Yeah. All right. I'm showing this tonight because um, got a comment on the video I posted come here, last night of Loki walking around and the comment was what happens if he's not in 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 prey drive like because because I I had a ball with me and what happens when he's not in prey drive and there's no pro- promise of a ball or something like that you know will he not you know react or go after the people and I don't have a ball with me tonight, and you just saw me w- walk him right by the people there and amongst them and stuff. And there's, I don't have a ball. There's nothing. I have, I have nothing. This is the, uh, that's the, the remote for the electric. 
which as you see is my pocket not being used um but um no it's 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 not um he's fine without without the ball but what i want to say is um why 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 the question like um um if if he needs the ball use the ball um the the reason he's so cool right now is not because i just punished the dog and i just suppressed the dog what i did was i changed the picture for the dog and changing the picture part of that part of that was the ball it wasn't the whole the whole thing but part of that absolutely was the ball the way ivan he teaches us to do certain things um so you, you know he also has a he has a leash on and he has a prong co co collar on and electric on and and it's like it's it's like the questions can can come up can you can you do this without the leash can you do this without the prong i mean you look at the pre of this dog and how he was exploding exploding and then you see him i, I don't know a month after that doing what he does and the question is oh well can he do that without a ball and it's like you know you can we can we can you know continue he's 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 on a leash he shouldn't be on on, on a leash so he's really not fixed and it's like you know the reason he's making such such huge cha changes is because like i said we didn't do counter conditioning we didn't try to stuff him with food or or that toy was not used as the counter as a counter conditioner okay um and we also just didn't suppress the dog so so if there's differential reinforcement to use um you use it and and that's why we get we're going to get a long-term fix with this dog as opposed to um well, as opposed to suppressing him, making him miserable, and he's still thinking the same exact way the whole time, right? We're gonna change the way this dog thinks. Here comes the bike, come here. Right, and, and he's not, you know, look at him, he's not thinking about it. That's the big the big thing. So so the question is not like like, like, does he have to use a ball? Like the question is, how did you use the ball? That's that. That's what should have been asked, you know. Um, because because the ball was used to get to this point, you know. So I mean, and there's no ball here. And he's flexied out. And he's just a calm, relaxed dog now. Come on. This is a little weird thing here, so we'll see. How you doing? How are you? But he's a different dog, and and once again, the question shouldn't be. Can he do it without the ball? You know, that ball, it was almost like, you know, that ball was the reason and that ball was, that ball was the, um, was the um, smoke and mirror trick. And it's really not. Um, this dog, I mean, <laughs> he loves me. Our relationship is just, just great. There, there's no ball in here. I, there's, I don't have anything. Um, he loves me, you know? Um, that ball, that ball was not, this 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 crutch to get through it. It, it it's the ball was used as part of changing the picture for this dog and you see the dog no ball here he's fine um but use the ball as long as as long as you should if he needs if he needs to hold on to that ball to walk through these these kind of situations why not why not you know um just like you know he needs a leash 
right? But if we can give him differential reinforcement, alternative behaviors and stuff like that, um, you do it and you solve the issue. You know, you don't just, <laughs> um, don't just try to suppress it away. We're gonna walk through here again. You're gonna see, I mean, he's completely fine. And, 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 I, and I let this run and these videos are not short because I want people to see that I'm not taking 10 seconds where this dog didn't, didn't react. I'm gonna go this way. Um, this is how he is. How you doing? But there's people all over the place and he's not, you know. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I mean, he's not. He's not even hooked up, <laughs> right? All right, I think you've seen enough, but it, 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 it's like, no, that ball wasn't the crutch. That ball is not the re reason why. Um, that ball was an integral part of getting here, though, absolutely. And use it as much as you need to use it. Use it correctly the way I Ivan teaches it, and you can get, and you can get here with other things he does. I mean, you know, he's, he does a whole lot of things. So it, it wasn't just that ball, but um, yeah, if you know how to, how to change the picture for the dog and the ball was part of that, that's, that's where the magic is. This is a different dog, man. It's a different dog. Over and out.